So as the temperature plummets, it is attempting to rug up inside and flick on the TV. But our next guests want us to brave the elements and take the kids outside. We are talking winter activity on Ann Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group today with child development experts Emma Hurrell and Christina Patching. Morning to you both. Good morning, Mel. More, this is really fascinating. So interesting to get kids outside, isn't it? Emma, why is staying active so important for young children? Well, Mal, physical development, whether it's uh, movement, exercise, aerobics, playing outside, it's all so important, but in particular for brain development, because when children are active, their brain develops. And this allows mm. for multiple different types of learning and development to take place. Um, research, research also shows that um, regular movement that involves balance and coordination also helps to improve emotional response. So this allows children to regulate their emotions a lot better. Um, it also shows that movement um, uh, helps to improve behaviour in the classroom and also decreases symptoms of anxiety and depression in young children. Mm. Um, but ultimately, active children become active adults and that's really what we want. And that's what we want. Well, that's fascinating too about the emotional thing. I had no idea because that explains a lot when you get a child sitting somewhere for a long length of time, they get quite feral. So that's good yeah. to know. Uh, Christina, can you give us some ideas? What could we be doing with our kids outside? Because, you know, the weather yeah. can be a bit miserable. Absolutely. So obviously investing in some good outdoor wet weather gear. Um, so every yard will be collecting puddles this time of year. Me and my kids, we love to just get outside. Jumping in the puddles is fun. You know? There might even be some ice at this time of oh, year. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, obviously for toddlers, seeing that cause and effect, jumping in the puddles is really fun. Um, sensory gardens are really great. So you can actually even have an outdoor kitchen. I have a bit of an outdoor kitchen in the winter. Um, so I just get my own utensils from the kitchen, I've got bowls, I've got some cardboard boxes from back and save, things like that. And they just keep collecting things over, <laughs> over the winter go as, as it goes. And um, we have a few rocks and things like that, so that's really great, obviously going off and collecting, um, putting some toys into that soil and getting a bit messy, really, really fun. Um, one of my favourite things, the last thing I'll share, is just getting some little beams or um, like I do a bit of DIY at home, so I've got some leftover wood. Um, but you can also get some pallets, which are free these days. Yeah. Um, and just stacking them, so you're actually developing balance, but also getting a child who just loves to jump, run and play, mm. to just really have a good time outside, yeah. And that's the thing too, is as long as you, as the parent, have got them in some good overalls, you can let them go for it, because Perfect. nothing yeah. underneath yep. is going to get wet or grubby. Yep. Gumboots, yeah. overalls, jacket, way to go. Right. Yep. Cover them up and yep. throw them outside. Absolutely. Um, Emma, if we do need to stay inside, though, because sometimes, you know, you, you can't, yep. like, torrential rain, etc., how can we stay active? Mm -hmm. There's so much that you can do within your home environments from music and dancing with ribbons and streamers and scarves, um, catching, throwing and chasing balloons indoors, all children love, um, as, as, as they do with bubbles. Um, rolling sock rolls up and using that as a bean bag or throwing it into buckets. Mm. Um, building indoor obstacle courses using chairs and pillows or building tents um, for fantasy play. Um, there really is so much that you can do with all the resources that are found in your home. So, so use them because the children find them so intriguing and interesting. Mm. And building yeah. hearts is always a good thing, isn't oh, it, inside? An absolute favourite. Yeah. That's, that's always great. Yeah, we recreated is, yeah. a movie scene from a movie, I can't remember, a Steven Spielberg movie once. It was fine. <laughs> and it killed the rainy afternoon as well and everybody was active. Awesome. Uh, Christina, what about uh, other learning can take place through outdoor activities? Because obviously it's not just going out there and having a good no, play. No, absolutely. I guess, um, you know, I, I think the outdoors is one of the most important um, environment for development for toddlers, especially they're mastering skills all the time, even as kids get older, you know, when they're going to participate in sports, they're learning to navigate uneven terrain, um, you know, whether it's wet or puddly or you've got some grass outside, they're learning to capture themselves when they jump into that puddle, um, writing reactions, um, balance, all of those really important skills to actually interact with the environment but also keep themselves safe mm. without having the parent hover and say, mm. you know, they learn that for themselves and they're so, so independent through it. Um, one of the other things is obviously fine motor skills as well. So if you're using, um, you know, toys and mud, getting messy, getting a bit of sensory play going, um, you're really developing the important grasp and pincer grip, which is mm. so, so important for later on. Mm. And yeah. making mud pies is the most fun, fun. thing so in the good. world. Yeah, uh, just absolutely. quickly, Emma, um, what can parents care to, get caregivers do at home to sort of encourage a bit of movement? If your child's looking like they just want to sit down on that sofa. <laughs> I think it's really important for us to remember that as parents and, and adults, we're role models to our children. Mm -hmm. And even though toddlers are naturally very inquisitive and, and quite independent, they still really love it when we get involved. 
So we encourage that parents, jump, roll, get messy, you know, really get involved mm. with your children because when they see you moving and exploring, then they will ultimately want to join in the fun. Awesome. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Coffee Group is brought to you by Animampedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. Now, if you have any worries that you would like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the Cafe Facebook page. One contributor will win this cool ebook from Animam. Absolutely amazing to win this ebook. It would be really amazing to win it. Uh, that allows you to record your voice reading the story. Congratulations to Lisa Patrick. Thank you for your great suggestion, and your ebook is on its way.